Integrated projects aim to introduce students to effective study skills in higher education and develop personal and team working skills and attributes that are needed for a successful career in civil engineering. These skills will be developed and practiced through the undertaking of individual and group projects that combine the technical knowledge and content of other modules on the student's course. This video shows an integrated project group undertaking a well-organized group meeting. Through the engagement in this group meeting, students develop interpersonal skills such as communication, teamwork and leadership skills. Students are also provided with the opportunity of working with people of varying backgrounds and cultures as demonstrated in this video. The area of design within civil engineering isn't as complicated as it initially may seem. This isn't an architectural degree, so you don't have to be artistic to succeed in this area. Everything you need to know for this module will be taught to you within your first year. Freehand, AutoCAD and SketchUp will all be covered and will allow you to experience various ways of designing structures. You will learn how to create quick sketches using specific engineering techniques and then be able to progress them with the use of computer software. This will allow you to create more technical designs which will enable you to visualise them well. The module is 100% coursework and there's no need to worry about purchasing the equipment as these are given to you freely. All of these techniques used within the module will aid you throughout your degree and in the industry. Surveying is the development of theoretical and practical understanding of the basic principles of plane surveying as used in modern engineering practice. You will gain practical experience in instrument work so that you are competent to engage in site surveying. In this practical, a theola is being set up, which is the principal instrument used for angular measurement. It is capable of measuring horizontal and vertical angles passing through the center of the instrument. The instrument is set up in the center of two points, and points are focused to get the face right and the face left readings of which then you can work out the mean angle. To check if the instrument is set up correctly on the tripod, the bubble on the apparatus should be set in the middle. This makes sure the equipment is leveled and will record the correct values. It is vital to handle the equipment with care as they are very delicate and damaging one can be costly. Surveying is one of the core modules at Coventry University which improves communication levels as well as providing one with a lifetime skill. highways module, students will develop practical knowledge and critical understanding of highways and transport infrastructure, covering some necessary basic foundation material that are needed for practitioners at entry level to the industry. In addition, the principles of sustainability will be considered within highways. Highways module consists of sustainable transport, traffic volume flow, types of foundation and traffic sign design. This video illustrates traffic sign design and how to calculate the visibility of a warning sign. The visibility distance of a warning sign depends on the speed of the road. So the higher the speed of the road, the bigger the visibility distance. So the road users see the warning sign in advance. Highways module makes one prepare for the real world and enhance one's understanding of roads, pavements and their arrangements. The aim of this module is to introduce students to the fundamental principles of mechanics and basic material parameters used in the structural assessments of buildings and foundations. This video shows one of the lab exercises you would be expecting in this course. Concrete mixing. Concrete mainly consists of four components, aggregates, sand, cement and water. These are weighed according to the mix and strength required. The components are mixed in a mixer for an effective mix. After the concrete is thoroughly mixed, it is poured in the molds and kept for drying. It is then cured for 28 days to gain the concrete's maximum strength and finally tested. Furthermore, this module allows students to get a hand-on practice on real-life materials and scenarios in their lab exercises. This enhances one's learning and gain further knowledge in analyzing engineering materials. This video shows a construction site showing the main topics of areas that are covered in the module of construction industry and practice. The signs outside the construction gives the warnings of potential hazards around the site. The scaffoldings around the building reduces the hazard of falling from height, which is one of the major causes of death in the European construction industry. Management and storage around the site ensure safety within the site. Construction industry in practice is not all about building and safety. It teaches one the fundamentals 
that occurred before any construction could take place, such as site investigation, tendering assessment, and others which are affected due to the construction. Construction industry in practice is one of the key modules for a civil engineering career. This module helps in developing one's understanding and working knowledge of measures taken, taken in construction.